Let's talk real quick. So before we talk about it, actually, just a reminder that you have to show your team pride with these gym leader avatar items. I really don't care about that, actually. What's really important is this announcement that we got from Pokemon Go itself is April's Community Day, and it's going to have Marie. Now, a lot of people complain about this, and the reason why is because a lot of people hatch a lot of 10 kilometer eggs, and they get Marie. And I can understand that, but honestly, guys, like, how often do you guys hatch 10 kilometer eggs, and what are the odds of getting Marie, you know? For me, it's like, I don't get Marie much, but I have enough for two Ampharos, and they're not really that good. So, really, it's great to see Marie here, personally, and plus, guys, have you have an Ampharos that is a shiny or has an exclusive move? I don't think so. Let's read what it says here. Trainers, a Pokemon originally discovered in the Johto region, which, by the way, is actually the first Pokemon featured for a community day from the Johto region. Normally, it's Kanto. We'll be starting April's Pokemon Go Community Day on Sunday, April 15th. This is weird because normally they have a community day the last weekend. But it turns out that they decided to make it a little bit earlier, so that's pretty awesome. The electric type Pokemon Marique will appear in the wild more frequently for three hours, and if you evolve a Flaffy to Ampharos during the three hour window, it will learn an exclusive move that will be revealed in a few weeks. And I'm predicting that it's going to be Zap Cannon. I have to think of a powerful electric type move that a Pokemon will have to learn, and I know that this move has to be specific for a particular Pokemon, and I think that Ampharos will have Zap Cannon. I don't think it has Zap Cannon yet, but if it does, I apologize for messing that up, but I couldn't think of anything else it would have. Anyway, so put those TMs away. This special move will only be available for Ampharos that are evolved or caught during Community Day. You'll also hatch eggs four times as fast for the duration of the Pokemon Go Community Day event. When using an incubator for 10 kilometer eggs, they will hatch after walking 2.5 kilometers. So don't forget your lure modules as they will remain active for three hours to help you get most out of the event. And then, okay, so let's talk about this real quick. So I knew in a couple of videos, like last month, we were talking about predictions for April and we thought it would be like Bulbasaur or Squirtle because, you know, not, not Bulbasaur, Charmander or Squirtle because Bulbasaur was the recent, um, you know, the, was the most recent community day that we had and, you know, we were making predictions about what we think April is because April is the month, you know, for Easter and we thought that they would either have a Pokemon feature that's based off of an egg or they would have some kind of bonus for, you know, raids or hatching eggs because here's the thing. They're all based on eggs. So hearing about reducing the amount of kilometers by, you know, four times faster, that's, I think that's pretty awesome. And imagine, it didn't say anything about super incubators. So imagine, you know, doing the event and you save those super incubators from the extravaganza event from the shop. If you use those, you're gonna be hatching them way quicker. So that's, if you think about the math for like doing it with two kilometer, five kilometer eggs, you're gonna be having like, maybe like half a kilometer for maybe more or less for two kilometers and then five kilometers would be like less than half because you have like 1.3 so that's kind of reduced a lot to like no like 3.3 but still gets around like half so that's oh my gosh I can't do the math right now but the fact that we're gonna have a lot of eggs is a benefit so remember it's not just only the Pokemon or the shiny variants and the move that it learns it's about just leveling up or getting some kind of reward. And just by having, you know, a bunch of eggs hatch, if you use a lucky egg and you just hatch a lot, depending on the type of egg they have, think about how much XP you're going to have. Just save up all of those super incubators and incubators that you've got from the events. So save those coins, first of all, because you're going to be wanting to do it. And I would say just just buy the boxes that we have now before April 2nd because if you think about it, you'll get a lot of super incubators. So the more that you save, the better chance you're going to use those for the event. So I wouldn't hatch anything with the super incubators until the 15th because you're going to want to use those. I mean, they might bring in the event boxes back and you might, they might have the incubators, super incubators. But, if you, but having a lot of super incubators is perfect, okay? It's perfect. And although that people are not happy about 
having a, you know, a shiny, you know, although people are not happy about the Marie, a shiny Marie would be pretty awesome. So how can you tell a Marie is shiny? Well, it is like a yellowish color Marie, you know, like the fur is kind of a little white, but the shiny is like a cotton candy pink. So it kind of looks like a cotton candy. I'm going to call it um, a cotton candy Marie, just because it just looks like cotton candy. So I would definitely recommend going to look for a pink Marie. All right. So just only focus on capturing Marie only. Okay. For this event. And then just constantly walk because the more you walk, the more kilometers you get. And the more eggs that you incubate, the more you get. And especially for the three hours, you're going to be hatching so many eggs in those three hours. Think about it. Not only do you get some really good Pokemon or like Pokemon candies, but it also gives you a higher chance to get a shiny. Think about it for a second. You're too busy trying to capture a Marie. You have a bunch of eggs, and hopefully you get like a shiny Swablu, a shiny Poochyanna, a shiny, um, what's out right now? Shiny Togepi, shiny uh, Sableye. I think it hatches from an egg. I don't think it does. But the point is, the more you save the incubators, the more time you focus on Marie in the wild. And just have your lucky eggs out because you'll double the amount of XP from hatching those eggs because that gives you a lot of XP. All right, so that is all I want to share with you guys. So make sure that you guys subscribe to this channel. We finally hit 100 subscribers. And uh, make sure that you guys let me know in the comments below where you guys think I should do the events. Do you think I should go to Carson City? Do you think I should go back to Minden Park? Or do you guys think I should go to Reno this time? I've been wanting to go to Reno last month, but I want to hang out with you guys. So depending where you want me to go, you can go to Tahoe if you want. It's only gonna be around for three hours. So make sure you guys tell me in the comments below where in Northern Nevada do you guys want me to do the event. And if you guys want me to do it somewhere else, outside of the northern Nevada, you're going to have to buy me a ticket. <laughs> anyway, that is all the time that we have. I'm Alex Gamekiye Chigwe, and uh, I need to get back to class. See you guys next time.